one of lockdown in South Africa or because of the coronavirus. So we decided to take you through a few clips that we've been doing on day one. We have the luxury of having our horses at home so we can actually work them on a daily basis. Apologies for my bird in the background. Um, so I'm going to take you through a few of our clips. Currently we are working on schooling the horses for mounted games and western riding for my daughter and for me it's only western mounted games which we will do a complete video on its own so you can understand what it's all about here in South Africa, what the classes are, how do you enter, everything like that, the training that needs to be done and then we will take you through the western riding one which is also a completely different uh, discipline here. So on day one we actually just work two of our horses. We have five on the property so we only work two of them. Uh, my daughter's horse Storm and my high school pony Dream that's actually being retired and now being, being brought back into work. So he's only 13 years old, he doesn't need to be retired but I decided when, when I got him back that I'd like to retire him rather. So I've turned back on my decision because he's got, he got a bit frustrated. He's quite a frisky little guy. Um, so yeah, let's check out the videos and see how we did. And please comment on below if there's any other videos that you want to see how we work in South Africa, how we build muscle, how we do all our stuff. Speed work is one of the biggest things that you need to do with your western mounted games. You need to be able to control your horse under quite a speedy condition. <laughs> so we did it with boundaries for her as she's only 9 years old and Storm can get a bit of a spaz. Here is one of the western mounted games. It's called Pole, so she's got to weave through them. Storm is currently trained to do show jumping so he's completely reliable on her legs and if she gets confused on which leg to put on he throws his bum out. Like there he just threw his bum out completely and this kind of has forced her to jab on the reins. But the speed work is doing really well. She can actually stop him dead in a full gallop. With the western riding it's different. We're trying to do a one hand here. And he did good the first time around, I was quite pleased, but the second time around didn't go as well. Turning him is quite a hurdle for us to get over now with him. He doesn't quite understand why she's only having one rein, or both reins in one hand. So he gets a bit of a spaz and then he just kind of runs through everything. With me it's quite different. Dream is my high school pony. He's 13 years old. And we are trying this for the first time. In a jumping saddle, not even a GP. So it kind of worked against me. He's got a lot of speed with an Anglo Arab so going on a nice controlled speed rate works for me because he also gets a spaz and then he starts bucking he hasn't been schooled at all so he doesn't know how to change leads at all but for a first go I was quite pleased with him because he didn't really hit any of the poles and he didn't run into them so I was quite happy with him with this and letting him go and on a full gallop with a western mounted game you need to be able to stop dead with your horse so a neck break is kind of essential and he got that quite quickly without me even jabbing on the reins. it's a slight ask. Hi guys, so that was day one of our lockdown here in South Africa. So we did a three hour workout with our western riding and western mounted games which did, which both of us did quite good and on average let's say it like that because we are both show jumpers. Um, 
this is a new thing for us. We decided to take this, these two disciplines on for 2020. And now we have the coronavirus. Anyway, so please subscribe to our channel so you can watch us through this, throughout this 20, 21 days if you're on lockdown. We have the luxury of having our horses with us, as you know. And we'll do a video on all our horses, their stories, and where they come from. The training methods we use here in South Africa because it's completely different than what you know in the UK or the US or wherever. It's a different world, yeah. Um, so yeah, let's just check you on the next episode and please subscribe to our channel. It really helps us a lot. And yeah, bye guys.